I love scary stories, and ever since I was a little kid, and I wrote about this in the foreword to uh, the first Morpheus Road book, I remember my mother reading me this Dr. Seuss story called What Was I Scared Of? And, uh, and my friend Frank and I used to go to horror movies all the time when we were kids. So I've always had this kind of predilection for, for horror, which is why I made Are You Afraid of the Dark? And I did 91 episodes of that show, and when it came time to write Morpheus Road, I came up with this kind of spooky idea, and I hadn't written anything spooky for a long time. So I was a little bit nervous about going back to being scary again, and, and I felt a, a little bit like the, the gunslinger who had, who had hung up the shooting irons for a long time, and, and I had to go back and kind of take them off the wall and put them on and dust them off a little bit and say, can I do this? But what I found is I like kind of you know, picked them up and kind of, it's like, Hey, yeah, I know how these work. So it was it was fun to go back into that dark area and spooky stuff and an area that I was so comfortable with, and it was it was a lot of fun. What's at stake for Marshall Seaver uh, are a number of things. He's someone who is it was being dragged kicking and screaming into growing up because he really doesn't want to. He's had some trouble in his life and he's really kind of he got this shell of childhood that he's wrapping himself in and doesn't want to break out of that. But what's also at stake for Marshall is his own sanity because there are a lot of things that happen to Marshall in this book that he just can't believe are really happening. And one of the places that Marshall goes is that I must be going crazy because the things that are happening to me can't be happening. Of course they are getting that way. They really are happening to him. But what's at stake on the global scale of why this is all happening to Marsh, I'm not going to talk about because it's, it's bigger than you could ever imagine. So, so there are some very big, earth-shattering things at stake that grow over the course of the three Morpheus Road books. But at the heart of it is Marshall who's trying to cope with this and trying to understand it and try to believe that he can affect this and, and, and stop this from happening. There are a couple of incidents in Morpheus Road, The Light, that I have taken directly from an experience that happened to me. I, I grew up in a haunted house, or at least a, a house that had spirits in it, and I honestly believe that. And one of the uh, very specific events that happened in Morpheus Road, The Light, did happen to me. There's a scene in the book where Marshall is in his, alone in his bedroom playing air drums to a song, and, and, uh, and he hears things. In my case, it wasn't playing air drums, I was trying to learn a Jimi Hendrix song. And I was sitting in my bedroom, and I was listening to a record, and I was playing my Stratocaster. And it was, old, it was a long time ago, so it was a record. And I had the needle on the record, and I thought I heard something in the house. And I lifted up the needle, and there was nothing. I put the needle back down, and I'm playing some more, and, and I heard it again. And I lifted up the needle, and there was nothing. I did it two or three times. The last time I did it, I lifted up the needle, and I heard Honest to goodness, I heard as plain as day, it sounded like someone was sitting outside of my bedroom door as if they were sitting on the floor, stood up so their back scraped against my bedroom door, and then sighed and walked away down the hallway. There was no one else in the house. I then did exactly what I described Marshall doing. I grabbed this big heavy kind of iron thing, and I searched the house. I went through every closet, went under every bed, and there was no one in the house. So, and I was 16 years old. Uh, this is not like some little kid thing. I, I remember it very, very well. And I describe it in Morpheus Road, The Light, up until the climax of what happens in The Light. I add to it at the end. But, but that's, that's a very real thing that happened to me from the book. <laughs>